Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be talking about adding an additional load leveler to your bucket. Um, what you're looking at right now is our Kubota MX6000 that uh, we did a we did an episode on an unboxing. You can go ahead and look at that here. But uh, so what Tim was referring to is uh, when we did the review on his beautiful Kubota here that still has fresh paint on the bucket and everything. Um, but what we really fell in love with was this load leveler. So with my John Deere 3038, it's set up to add one onto it. I'm not gonna buy one. I'm gonna go to the hardware store and pick up some stuff and uh, make one of these and put it on. So that's what this episode's all about. Thanks for staying with us. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. A podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and, and being a steward of the land. like what these two dumbasses are doing please hit the like button and subscribe today so one of the benefits of a load leveler is is uh, if, if you've had a tractor is you never know the pitch of your bucket when you're going when you're going in to scoop something up and this load leveler tells you exactly what the end of this lip looks like and where it's at from a flushness with the ground and so what you can see is like you can adjust it here with an adjustable uh, screw nut they also have a bend um, to where you can adjust this and once it hits this, I'm going to call it a center line, center line point right here, I know that that thing is flush with the ground for scooping. So, and I don't have to worry about digging into the ground or whatever surface I'm at. So, the real benefit of a load leveler. <laughs> Thanks for uh, joining us at the Two Dumbass Cabin. Again, we're going to do we're going to do a, a bucket level indicator on this uh, John Deere 3080. So uh, stay with us here. I'll show you the parts and the process. And uh, thanks for joining us and going along this journey. Let's go through the material that I'm going to use on this load leveler indicator for my John Deere 3030E. First and foremost, this is going to be my uh, indicator stick or rod. Um, it is a piece of threaded 5 16 coarse threaded rod. And it's 36 inches long, which should be probably about 10 inches more than I need. So when I get this installed, I'll see if I need to cut this off or not. But uh, more than likely, I'm just going to leave it um, extra long. We'll see what it looks like. But 5 16 I have... Uh, three five sixteenths inch uh, nylon lock nuts for this. I think I'm only going to use two of them, but we'll see. I've got three of them, and then I need. I have a six inch eye bolt, six inch measured from the end of the eye to the end of the bolt. I'm really concerned about this length, which is uh, you know the shaft uh, length. And that is uh, four inches. That, that's going to get me out far enough uh, from my hydraulic hoses. Now you'll see that here in a minute. Um, that, and then I've got two nylon lock nuts for this, um, which is which is three eighths. This is three eighths. The nuts are three eighths, and I've got two uh, washers. And then um, I made this bracket out of some leftover material, and I'll include that real quick in uh, how I did that but um, if you if you can find a bracket like this um, go for it if you can buy it great but uh, I just had some leftover metal and got to use my grinder which I like using and uh, I think this is going to work out perfectly but all in all total here I'm at about uh, seven dollars and 56 cents uh, for all this material let's see what I can do thanks all right, roughly how this is going to work, um, you know, John Deere makes one of these um, bucket leveler indicators to put on. You can purchase it anywhere between $100 and $200. So they've got this pre-drilled for me uh, up here, 
And then I'm going to use that same hole to put my eye bolt. So again, uh, step one for me is to, to get this eye bolt in. And again, I want it to be out far enough that um, I'm away from these hydraulic hoses. Okay, there's two inputs here. And uh, so that's going to be step one. But this is going to connect to my bucket down below. And then when the bucket raises and lowers, it's going to slide through the eye bolt. And I'll put a piece of tape. My plan is to put a piece of tape on this rod. And uh, that will tell me when my, when my bucket is level. All right, eye bolt installation. Again, a six inch eye bolt, three H inch coarse thread. I'm gonna put a washer and a lock nut in the back, and then a washer, I'm sorry, a lock nut um, in front with the washer in front of it. So I can pin this and get it in the right position, and I know that uh, it's not gonna come undone. Step two is to take this nut off and after that nut is off, I will drill a hole in here. This bracket slides on there, the nut comes on, and this gets held in place. This is where the rod will come in, and then it'll go up, up through the eye bolt. Um, so that's what we've got to do here. So several sub steps here. One, I've got to take this nut off. I've got to drill a hole here, and then um, I've got to drill a hole up here for the rod to connect to. So that's step two. got my hole drilled out, um, I've got my nut off over there, I'm ready to put the hole in for the rod to go through. And I want that to be fairly even with my eye bolt up, up on the uh, lift. So I've measured and it's about four inches um, in. So I'm going to measure four inches in, I'm going to put a half inch, a half inch uh, hole in this. And the reason I'm putting a half inch hole in that is because as that bucket curls and, and levels out, um, I'm afraid that that, that rod is going to bend and, and break ultimately. So I want to give a little bit of slop in that hole uh, for it to be able to move. So four inches up and a half inch hole. Okay, I uh, put a level on this, it's all set up. There's a few modifications that I want to show you when I close out here. Um, things never go as you plan, uh, but I think we're pretty close here. So I'm going to put a piece of tape, that's going to be my marker uh, on this rod that I'm going to use for, uh, for a level. I'm going to use tape for right now, I might use paint, a lot of times these are bent and I can do that with this, uh, but I'm going to use use tape right now just because it's uh, you know I can remove it and change it if uh, things don't work out in the future but um, here's here's what it looks like so far and uh, I'll give you some action photos Now that it's done, tested, and I'm uh, pretty sure it's going to work, we'll see, you know, over time. Um, I've tested enough to feel comfortable with it that, uh, to call it good. But there's two, two big changes, two changes, I don't know if they're big, but two changes from my original plan. One is uh, because of the way that this bucket rotates, and it rotates a lot, um, my rod was not long enough. Uh, I think I commented earlier in the video that I had 36 inch rod and it, uh, I only needed about 27 inches. I had about 10 inches extra while I ended up with about, you know, six inches being short. So anyway, I put this, uh, I, I put this, uh, extender on here, um, with another rod and, um, you know, that, that fixed that problem. The bigger problem is this bracket that connects to the bucket. Um, because this 
bucket rotates almost 180 degrees uh, just was not going to work. Um, it needed to swivel. So what I did is I put a little bushing. I drilled this this hole out a little bit bigger on this bracket, made a little bushing and put in there, and then put the nut over there. So the, the nut is only touching the, the bushing, uh, but it's close enough to keep the bracket on there, and um, it allows this it allows this bracket to rotate as, as the bucket turns. So I'll, I'll include some videos on that, but um, if you got any questions on this build, uh, you know, put them in the comments below. Appreciate you watching, and um, I, I think this would be applicable to almost any tractor out there um, if you're looking for a bucket, in, uh, level, bucket level indicator. So thanks for watching. Uh, be safe, have fun, and get outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.